Hello everyone, it's PCLP here and in today's video, I'll be discussing with you all how you can fix isdun.dla error for the game Dead or Alive 6, so let's get started. So before performing any workaround, we have to clean boot our PC, so I've made a separate video in which I have shown in detail how you can clean boot your PC. So you can just visit that video by clicking the upper right corner of your screen. You can see a card here. Or you can just click on the link in the, in the description of this video. So just clean boot your PC first and then proceed to further workarounds. So after performing clean boot, the first workaround is changing the priority of the setup to high. So the PC I'm recording that I'm using for recording is not having the repack of Dead or Alive 6. So I'm going to show you how to do all the steps with the help of Vampire Repack. So I hope there's no problem with this because steps for all the games are same. So just open your setup. Click on OK. So the once the main setup file starts all you have to do is right click on your taskbar go to task manager and click on setup and setup go to details and here setup.exe and setup.tem change their priority to real time or high so i'm changing them to real time so you have to do the same with the dead or live 6 setup so that's the first step that is changing the priority of the game to high Now let's come to the second step in which we'll be changing the directory of the installed game and changing the name of the setup folder. It is also a very important step. So listen in detail. So here what we are going to do is changing the directory of the game from local. By default it is somewhere in program files in, in 86. But we are not going to save the game in C drive. Just change the directory of the game from C drive to somewhere in your D drive or any other drive and click OK and that should solve your problem and the second thing is just go to your repack folder and change the name of this folder to anything to anything at all so i'm just going to change its name to vampire setup that should do it so oh uh, it's not changing right now because i've already run the setup in the background so once the background app is closed it will surely start working so its name will be changed that's not a big problem so now let's come come to the third workaround that is disabling your antivirus so i don't have any antivirus i just have the windows defender so i'm going to show you how you can disable it just go to setting and then go to update and security and here go to windows security and windows security go to open windows defender security center so where, uh, many users overlook this step but it's really a very important step so just click on this settings icon here and go to virus and threat protection settings and here just turn off the time protection and yes so you don't have to uh, turn off your protection for all the time you have to just turn it off for the time period that while the game is installing so once your game is installed just turn it on again so that's how you can disable your antivirus now let's come to the last workaround that is downloading is done.dll and arc.dll files but i believe that you might not need this workaround as the previous three workarounds might have fixed your problem but still if your problem is not fixed just search on google download isdent.dll and open this first link and download anarch.dll and open this first link again so you'll be redirected to these pages oh no you won't be redirected to this page just click on the first link or do the same for anarch.dll scroll down and download the 32 bit version even if you are a 64 bit user 32 bit version works on both so just download this file from here and download this file 
an add tutorial from here so i won't be downloading it because i recently downloaded these two files so there is no problem so just now go to a downloads folder and here you can see istin.dll and anarch.dll all you have to do is if you are a 32 bit user just extract them to your system 32 folder i want to show you for istin.dll file extract to asrc windows and here I wait for it to load and here it is so if you are a 32 bit user so just extract it to system 32 but i'm a 64 bit user so i'll just extract it to syswar 64 folder and click on ok yes it will replace the files yes to all and here it is so you have to do the same with an arc.dll file and your problem will be fixed surely so that's it that's how you can fix your isden.dll and an arc.dll error for the game dead or alive 6 thank you for watching this video if you had if you have any further issues or queries just type in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day